Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I hope everybody's healthy and taking care of themselves. So uh, much of our lessons are gonna be done via these uh, Screencastify, like we're doing right now, which are just gonna be uh, recording over the slide deck. All right, so let's get started. Um, this unit is on thermochemistry, um, which is also uh, chapter 17 in your textbook. You could use your textbook for an additional resource. Um, some note-taking suggestions. Um, right now, you want to get out a piece of lined paper and a pencil or pen. Probably find a quiet place at home where you can concentrate without any interruptions. Um, just remember, you can always pause the video as needed so that you can take good notes. Maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you can even rewind it if you want. Uh, keep your notes organized in your chemistry binder. You are not going to be given guided notes. Uh, as of now, you're just going to have to take notes on your own piece of paper. All right. So the objectives are here to be able to define heat and um, get familiar with the units. Um, you're going to be able to perform uh, what are called specific heat calculations eventually, um, perform phase change in heat calculations, and be able to explain the difference in heat calculations on different sections of a heating curve. But today is just going to be an introduction, so don't get too worried about the calculations, and you won't even need to have a calculator today. All right, today we're just going to cover the basics. So the introductions and different types of energy. So there's thermal energy, which is associated with the random motion of atoms and molecules and how they collide. There's chemical energy, which you guys have already been um, kind of experiencing with, which you see on chemical equations, either on the reactant side or the product side. Um, and energy is basically stored within the bonds and the chemical formulas that we've been working on. Nuclear energy is energy stored in neutrons and protons. And we talked a little bit about that back when we did uh, radiation. Electrical energy is the flow of electrons, like electricity. And potential energy is available, um, or it's like stored up energy. All right. So um, thermochemistry is like the topic here. And it's the study of energy changes that occur during chemical reactions and changes of state. So that's what our main kind of energy that we're, we're looking at right now, thermochemistry, energy within the reactions. Energy, what is it? Okay, it's the capacity to, heat, to do work or produce heat. Um, chemical potential energy is energy that's within the chemical bonds, and that's what we're kind of looking at, what we're going to be measuring. For example, uh, burning gasoline, you know, a combustion reaction. Uh, when we do that, when we combust gasoline, um, we are releasing the energy within the bonds of the gasoline molecule. So, like, here's an equation you guys are familiar with, a combustion reaction equation. Um, and you got your, your octane plus your oxygen, um, and it proceeds forward, and your products are water and carbon dioxide. Well, also energy is released. We're going to be able to calculate this energy. Heat and energy flow. So we need to start out with some basics here. And we need to know what heat is. Heat is represented by the letter Q, and that's going to be in, in the equation that's coming up that we'll have to be solving for. 
and Q or heat is a measurement of energy transfer between two object, objects due to change in temperature. It always flows from warmer to cooler ones due to molecular collisions causing energy to transfer. And it's measured indirectly with temperature changes, which is this delta T right here. So heat will transfer from one system to the next, from like a system to the surrounding. So here's a little arrow, heat transferring. Okay, so let's tie this together. So we have a system. So like here's like a, like a beaker right here that has, you know, maybe a chemical reaction occurring inside here. Um, it's a specific part that we're studying. And then the surrounding is around it, everything else. So um, if energy goes into the system, right over here, this blue line right here, then you're gonna have a positive value for your heat, your Q. And if you have energy leaving the system, you have a negative Q or negative heat from the system to the surroundings. When energy is going into the system, it's called an endothermic reaction. When energy leaves a system, it's called exothermic reaction. Exothermic is related with a negative Q value. Endothermic is related with a positive Q value. So this is the equation that we're trying to work towards. This is the equation for heat or Q. Q equals M times C times delta T. Q is heat and it's measured in joules. M stands for mass, which is in grams. C is what's called specific heat, and it has units of joules per grams times degrees Celsius. And delta T, which is the change in temperature, which is also always solved in degrees Celsius. All right, so that concludes our uh, our message for the day and our video for the day and um, your homework and this video as well can all be found on the digital outline and i hope you guys are all doing well and uh, go on to the digital outline you're going to sign up for